you're locked in with the innovators. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. You talked about, you said you was a blood, like that was going on in the Frisco or like, where, where, how did that happen? No, I got, I got, I got put on a sack. Got I got put you. on. I got put on. Got you. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I, I got, got put you. on the Sacramento. I was, I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, um, you know, before we even decided to even have conversations with the Bay Area, I was doing that a long time ago. I'm an OG in it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I uh did that when I was a kid, and and uh, you know, shout out to all my people in Sacramento. That's why Sacramento got a, a, a special place with me in my heart. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I was always back and forth. I got over 400 some relatives in Sacramento. Like literally, you know, we would have our family reunions at El Grove uh, Park. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Or Wayland Park, you know? And uh, you know, so uh when I had got uh you remember uh you remember training day, right? Yeah. Remember when Snoop got choked out with the rocks? Yeah. I went through that shit. I went through that shit in the projects in Valencia Gardens in the VGs. For real. Down on 15th Street. Yeah, I got choked out. I tried to swallow the rocks, dude choked me out, <clears throat> and then uh you know, after that, I went to uh, YGC, uh, Juvenile Hall, and then uh, they uh, they made me a water of the state. You know, I got caught with, you know, and then they made me a water of the state. So my mom was like, we're going to move to Sacramento. And they was like, well, send his case out there. And when I got to SAC, they was on some, well, you know, he ain't been committing no crimes out here. So they kind of put me on probation, but then they put me in SAC. And then all my cousins out there and relatives out there. And then, you know, I just ended up doing what I, what I ended up doing, but um, I got put on by my homeboys, uh, Pokey and Danny, you know what I'm saying? From uh, uh, Cherry Street, Cherry Block, Meadow Vermont, you know what I mean? And then from there, I ended up being in Oak Park where I was at, you know, yeah. but, uh, but the thing is, is that when I was out there and I wanted to clarify that because I know I had did an interview before and a lot of people in the comments was like, uh, see, I told this story, right? That when I went out there, you know, we from the Bay, right? So back then, you know, we was looking like paid in full back then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Donkey robes, gazelle glasses, Kango fur, travel foxes. You know, we was wearing triple goose coats. You know what I'm saying? We was wearing all of the, the wuku hats, the raccoon hats with the fur. And, you know, niggas was having money back then, right? Because it, it, right. was, it, was it was the crack era. And uh, when I went to SAC, I had took my relatives to Carl's Jr., I'm a young nigga having money, you know what I'm saying? Project baby. So when I, so when uh when I when I turned around, I said, blood, what y'all want? Because you know, we say blood. You know, cat saying cousin in the bay didn't come till later on down the line. Yeah. Everybody was saying blood or young blood. Got you, I got you, I got you. So when he put out the 22, I was ready to whoop his ass, you know what I'm saying? With the pistol, but this pregnant chick, I'll never forget, she jumped over the counter and was like, uh-uh. He don't know nothing about that. He ain't even from out here. He from the back, you know? And then me and dude had words or whatever. But from that point, I was just like, a nigga can't tell me what I want to say. Nigga, blood, nigga, whatever, you know? Yeah. But I ended up getting put on by my homeboys anyway, later on down the line. But I was a kid then when that happened. So, yeah, you know, that's what that was. That's how that come about. For anybody that didn't know, I don't know, or want to be like, oh, how much and juice in this? Nigga, I've been a blood. Everybody know I was a blood. Everybody that no juice that know me they know my name was blood box before it was juice nigga if you don't if you don't know you just don't know do your homework you know what i'm yeah. saying this shit real yeah. no nah, that that is, that is true though because even like me we're living in la when you when you when a nigga from the bay first come to la he said blood he said cuz they like what what's going on but i'm like yeah. <laughs> is, i'm like that's how we talk like right that, right that's a crazy story right. though that's a crazy story though for sure